Hi, let's discuss this question. In this question, we are given two vectors, a and b, which are a function of time. And we have to determine the value of time at which these two functions become orthogonal, as in they become perpendicular to each other. Let's do that. I know that when a becomes perpendicular to b, then their dot product, as in a dot b, should be equal to 0. Let's find out the dot product of these two functions. In this case, I will just get cos omega t dot cos omega t by 2 plus sin omega t dot sin omega t by 2. And this is equal to 0. Why? Because i dot j and j dot i are also 0. Because they are also perpendicular to each other. And therefore, the only components I get is i dot i and j dot j. Now, let's simplify this expression to find out the value of t. When I look at this expression, I actually recall an expression of cos a minus b. Let's see. Cos of a minus b is actually equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Much like the expression that we have. And therefore, we can easily identify a and b over here. This is a and this is b. And therefore, I can simply write this entire expression as cos omega t minus omega t by 2 and this is equal to 0. Now for, a, now for cos theta to be equal to 0, the angle theta should be equal to 90 degrees and therefore my omega t minus omega t by 2 should be equal to pi by 2 or can I say omega t by 2 should be equal to pi by 2. I can cancel out the 2 over here and I will get t is equal to pi by omega. And from the given options, we can see that option 4 is the only right answer. Thank you.